now that we have our three um, AI controllers here, the civilian, the melee fighter and the shooter, let's assign the enemy tag and the enemy layer. Oh, I forgot to add it. Let's add it here, enemy. Cool. Okay, now let's set up the so anxiously awaited shooter, AI shooter. Uh, we already created the AI and he comes with the shooter manager and head track. Let's do the, fir the, the same thing we did for the melee, which is set up a detection system. Let's go into our head bone and create a ice to be a detection point around here. Pretty cool. Assign it in the detection point reference. Turn on the visuals. Cool. Let's uh, add a layer and tags to detect, which is the player and player. Cool. Now we detect a target, but we need to apply damage to this target. So let's go to the shooter manager and the damage layer here is default. Let's also add the player to actually do damage to the player. Cool. Now let's add a shooter weapon to this character. We have already some prefabs here that you can, for example, let's add the the shotgun. Uh, here you can see that it's already pretty much everything configured and you can simply replace the renderer of the object and keep the muzzle, keep the aim reference, auto source, point light and particles. Just customize your uh, 3D model. Now let's go and add this weapon to our right hand. Uh, okay, let's hit play and he will automatically grab the ID of the moveset, upper body and attack. I already explained that in the previous tutorial of the melee. If you didn't watch that, go back and watch it so you can better understand how it works and go to the right hand and hit create empty and let's create a handler so he can actually um, hold weapons. Let's assign our shotgun inside the handler and reset the transform and rotation. Cool, I'm going to turn it off my FPS controller for now so I can hit play and he can stay right here. Cool, we can see that our weapon is way wrong, but let's fix that. Uh, select the shooter, go to the shooter controller, settings, and here we have a lock aim debug. This will basically uh, make him aim at you. He changed the moveset to uh, aiming. So let's select the handler. Now let's align our handler here. So for example, okay, let's select the front of the character and make him aim this correctly. Always give small clicks like this to correctly align your weapon without any issues. Let's go to this other position and actually put the weapon in his hand. All right, looking good. Looking good. Now that my position is pretty much what I want it to be. Maybe a little bit here. Yep, pretty cool. Now I can copy the component of the transform, handler transform, unpause and paste the component values. The weapon will be aligned correctly. Not, not only that, but all of our other weapons, like if I want to put a assault rifle here, it will also be correctly aligned. So if I hit play, 
now the sight route rifle will be correctly positioned. I'm not sure why he didn't. Hmm. I think it's because the shotguns here. Let's see. Yep, the shotgun was inflammation. Um, okay. Now, the left hand of your character is not uh, determined by the handler, but instead we have a, each weapon will have a left hand IK that is, it is here, but you don't need to set up manually for each weapon um, your left hand. Instead, you can go here in the shooter uh, manager and we have a rotation offset and position offsets that you can configure and uh, set the values here and it will be applied for all the weapons just like the handler is so set up your offsets and copy the component and paste it when you're done yeah see that he does his reload and yeah pretty cool so to finish our basic introduction tutorials to the new AI template by Invector we just set up three different characters with three different controllers animators and FSM behaviors and that was just the tip of the iceberg that it is our new AI template because we just saw how to, how to set up the controllers but the real thing is the finite state machine where we have actual brain of the AI is where we make decisions to switch between states that have actions in it the package already comes with several actions and decisions out of the box enough for any developer to create unique and interesting behaviors without the need to write a single line of code but of course if you want to create your own actions and decisions to customize even further we encourage you to do that and you can look into our actions and try to create your own in the next tutorials we're done with introductions and we're going to take a look into how the FSM editor works see you there